Trade unionists staged a demonstration opposite the Sri Lanka Ports Authority, objecting to moves to give away a 49% stake of the Colombo Ports East Container Terminal to India's Adani Group. Civic activists representing the national movement for the protection of the East Container Terminal were among those who joined the demonstration. President Gotabe Rajapaksa must hear our voice as he is a leader who is concerned about countries. We are requesting measures to retain the ownership of the East Container Terminal. The President can do it. He has the power to do that. He has a two-thirds majority along with the executive powers. We request him to use those powers to retain the East Container Terminal under our control. All employees at the Sri Lanka Ports Union have launched a work to rule trade union action. If our voices are ignored, we will halt operations at the port. We wish to remind the government that we will do it. We will not stop our struggle. We would like to question the government on why they are attempting to sell off the port out of fear for India, while there is a massive public outcry against such moves. We would like to inform President Gotabe Rajapaksa that this is the right time to reverse this decision. Don't sell the port. That is our message. Meanwhile, State Minister Nalaka Godaheva and the former chairman of the Sri Lanka Ports Authority, Dr. Priyat Banduvikrama, arrived at the scene of the protest representing the Vyatmaga movement. Our policy titled Vistas of Prosperity and Splendor clearly indicates our approach regarding the terminal. According to this policy, the East Container Terminal must be developed by the government through the Sri Lanka Ports Authority. The Vyatmaga movement is of this stance, but what we need to understand is that the problem was not created by us, but by the previous government. Give us your suggestions. We came here to inform you that we will work towards saving the East Container Terminal by standing on behalf of your suggestions. Although the national movement for the protection of the East Container Terminal invited the members of the Vyatmaga movement, the members of the Vyatmaga movement left the premises. These were the views expressed regarding the East Container Terminal during an event organized by the Vyatmaga movement before the government came into power. <laughs> Only 70 million US dollars were spent for the construction of this terminal. Another 60 million was allocated for this project. We could have set up cranes at the premises and launched operations. We could have used 100 million dollars to develop the rest of the port. Instead of developing the terminal further, the government is trying to sell it off, just as they did to the Hambantota port. The government claims that we cannot handle operations at the port. In 2013, I attended a conference in India. During the event, I was questioned as to why Indian companies are not allowed to participate in bids advertised by the Sri Lankan government. 
I questioned them as to how we could give away our ports to India when Indian ports are operated by Dubai. But today the situation is such that we are selling off all our resources despite having skilled officials who are capable of managing them. <laughs> Engaging in a work to rule campaign or launching a strike will obstruct avenues that can strengthen our economy and also stop the inflow of foreign currency. These issues must be resolved through discussions. A cabinet paper has been tabled on this matter. Under this proposal, we have appointed a committee to discuss these matters. That committee is engaging in discussions. A final decision is yet to be reached. Given that trade union action is being initiated, although a final decision has not been reached, we are suspicious whether there is a force involved in dragging our economy backwards and stalling the progress of the Sri Lanka Ports Authority.